Hi, everybody. Welcome back to SDR Unfiltered. I'm Bill Faith, founder of Build Short-Term Rental Wealth, and I'm an investor and entrepreneur just like you. Um, if this is your first time listening, thank you for being here and for listening. I really appreciate it. Please hit that subscribe button. If you've listened to many episodes, I would mean the world to me if you would take 10 seconds and go to Apple or Spotify or Amazon and just leave a quick review. Um, today, I want to talk about being underinsured. And about two years ago, there was a big fire that went through uh, the Smoky Mountains and I had a mastermind member lose a property. Very astute investor, very smart, super high income earning uh, executive at a Fortune 100 company. And he was underinsured. And when his house burned down, he wasn't insured for enough dwelling costs to rebuild exactly what he had. Also, he made a misrepresentation of the loss of rental income. Uh, the, basically, the way that the policy was written, uh, it did not cover what he thought it would. Well, I'm recording this podcast today because I'm in a boat to where I bought it, my, my dream home, my brand new property and just outside of Whitefish, Montana. And there just happens to be a raging forest fire uh, that started about 10 miles away, then it was seven miles away, then six, then five, and it's currently four miles away uh, from our property. Thank goodness we got rain today and it has slowed down and dissipated the size of the fire. It's still a threat, uh, but it's not as big of a threat as it was over the weekend. And just got me thinking about the insurance deal. I know it's not sexy. I know a lot of people don't talk about it. And most of you default to trying to get the cheapest insurance available. You don't want to do that. You have no idea when a hurricane is going to hit if you're at the beach. You have no idea when fires are going to hit if you're in Montana or the Smokies or Western North Carolina or the mountains anywhere. Insurance is something that unless you are independently wealthy and you can self-insure, that we don't give it enough value until we actually need it. And most of us, when we need it, because we've undervalued it, we screw ourselves. So I'm here to tell you to make sure that every time that you renew, you have a very good understanding of what it would cost you to rebuild, that you have a very good understanding of what is covered, what is your deductible. And most importantly, if you are relying on the rental income, that you fully understand how the rental income works. There are a lot of policies that are only going to pay a percentage, could be all, 100%, could be 75%, could be 50% of what you have on the books for the time that you are down. So when you see that line item on your deck page and it says 100 grand in loss of income, if you don't go through and get a copy of the entire policy and read through it and read the addendums and re read the exclusions, then you really don't have an understanding of what you're signing off for. You're just writing a check. You have to know specifically what those exclusions are in the policy. So for me, when I first heard about this fire, first thing I do is go grab my policy and see what my fire coverage is. I didn't even know. Thank God I've got good fire coverage. I've got enough dwelling coverage to be able to rebuild. The second part of this is, is you have to know what the cost to rebuild is per square foot. You cannot guess. Oh, you don't just, somebody, your friend tells you, oh, you can rebuild anywhere in the country for $300 a square foot. What's your furnishings? What type of finishes do you have? You need to really be on top of this. The second part of this is, is a lot of insurance providers may not elect to insure you. If you're, you need to build at $400,000 a square foot and you have a 3,000 square foot house, that's $1.2 million. What if they will only insure you to $950,000? Oh, well, I can save $2,000 a year. What happens when your house burns? What happens when Hurricane Sally comes through? I lost a property in Sally. It cost me $126,000. I don't want to see this happen to you guys. Insurance is a big deal. And it's not just being underinsured. To replace the dwelling. There's also liability components here. A lot of you don't have enough liability coverage. A lot of you are using things like State Farm and Farmers Insurance, which 
even though they have a rider, you don't read the exclusions and you don't fully understand what you're buying. What's your liability coverage when you go with a standard homeowner's policy and you throw on uh, an addendum for rent for renters? You're not going to get the same coverage that you get through proper that's underwritten by Lloyd's of London. So you better at least if you're doing one of those and on my property in, in Montana, proper denied it. They would not insure it. So I went through State Farm. But then I went back to proper and said, hey, will you give me a $2 million liability policy for the property on top of State Farm? And they did. So I want you to make sure that when mayhem happens, we've all seen the commercial, that you are prepared. If you don't know what to do, if you don't have any idea, then right there, DM me, Bill Faith, F A E T H 73 on Instagram. Because this is a big deal. And if and I want to go back, if you rely on the rental income to make your next, next investment, to support your family, you leverage it to leave your W-2, whatever it is, if you can't wholly support yourself without the rental income on property number one or property number 10 or 20, then you need to have a keen understanding of what your insurance policy covers, what it doesn't, the dollar values, and what it costs to rebuild your property. If you don't, you're putting yourself and your family at risk. It's that important. That's my message for today, folks. I know it's short, but it's extremely important. So please pull out your policy, call your insurance agent, educate yourself, and have a full, true understanding of what your coverages are. Thanks for joining me on STR Unfiltered. Happy hosting, everybody.